Hello, welcome. My name is Ines Martins. Thank you so much for joining me today as I want to talk a little bit about one of the obstacles that I found around receiving guidance. And, uh, you know, oftentimes people will ask me, well, you know, how do I hear my guidance? How do I tap into my inner knowing? It just eludes me. And one of the things that I found that is probably the biggest thing that most people have in place is that they're sort of in their own way. In other words, they have emotional or mental uh, or other attachments going on to either the outcome, the situation, or the person. Now, when this happens, we have difficulties removing ourselves into the observer position. To receive guidance, you really need to be either the w in the witness or the observer position rather than the involved. So I have a very simple, easy and effortless technique to create a detachment and then allow for the information to flow. And I use a, um, a formula and the way that I do it is I just simply make a statement and then release and then move forward with connecting myself so that I can receive guidance. Now, let's start with the actual detachment. So, I hereby release any and all mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and or other attachment to, then add in either the person or the situation, in this incarnation, or any other incarnation through time and space in this instant. I only allow connections of divine love. Take a moment, breathe that in. Have a look and see how you feel. Likely what's happening is that there's a shift in your energy. So what you've essentially done is you've pulled your energy back. You have cut all cords of attachment to these attachments and are now in a space where you can take a step back and look at the situation from the observer perspective. So now the next step is to create a flow within you. So the way that I do this is I pull in my energy field, I keep pulling it in until it is really close to my core, to the core of who I am, of my physical body as well, and then I pull it through, I connect into or ground into Gaia, I connect into the unity consciousness grid, I allow the flow to be created, so I visualize this as actually energy flowing from the heavens down to the earth. And then I quiet my mind and I begin by asking the questions. Now the key to asking a question and receiving clear guidance is the way how you pose the question. And, and I found a lot of people like to ask the question, am I supposed to do this or am I supposed to do that? Now, the way that guidance works is guidance is still based on free will. So you need to change the wording around to is it for my highest good? Or ask a question, if I go this way or this route, what will be the likeliest outcome? If I go this route, what will be the likeliest outcome? And that will allow for the information to flow. Words are very, very important. They really make or break whether you receive clear guidance. Because, you know, our higher self, extensions of ourselves, really are not allowed to give directive. We are allowed to, be re to receive guidance, but never directive. Because directive is direct infringement of free will. So, as I said, the best questions to ask are, is it for my highest good? I tend to stay away from the pure yes and no questions and really go into the detail, meaning asking 
what is it, what, it, what is the likeliest outcome if I go on this path? Mm, what is the highest possible outcome? Um, are there any detriments to going this specific way? Uh, and then really feel inside of you whether that resonates with you, whether that gives you peace, or you know whether your feelings are, ooh, I don't really like that experience, that doesn't feel good to me. That is all guidance, that is all your inner voice. But again, the key is that you are emotionally and mentally, etc., completely detached from the situation and are the observer rather than the emotionally involved. Anyway, I hope that this has helped you and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.